so what we're going to be doing in this video is uh, we're going to be making a Bane mask and we're going to, it has to be form fitting to my head, I want it to kill me, so <laughs> I'm going to be wearing it so it has to like grip my head, um, because it gripped Tom Hardy's head and you know, that's how I want it. So the first step of making the Bane mask was to make a life cast of Artem's face so that we could more accurately... Yeah, you're, he's Artem. So we could more accurately build the clay that we're going to model the mask after onto so it form fits to his head. Now, the first step of doing that was to cover Artem's head in saran wrap. Yeah, so we're putting saran wrap on my head so that none of the paper mache sticks to my face. To avoid discomfort. Bam, that's it. Do it. Ship that. I'm serious. That's it. That's all that needs to be said. We don't need to turn this into a fucking intro to the Twilight Zone where, ooh, you know, it's 1960s and there's a bunch of people walking around with pictures of lemonade. You know, you don't need that. Sideways. Do some sideways tape action. Tape this up. Tape with this. Go, 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 go. G.I. Joe. I'm sure it's not necessary right here. <laughs> At this point, you're just mocking me. Right. Next, on a thousand ways to die. <laughs> so we're gonna put the saran wrap, then the, uh, then we're gonna make paper mache, lay it all over my face, front half of my face, then we're gonna take that off, let it dry, back head of my head, whatever, and then that's gonna be combined, and then that's gonna be my head pretty much. So now we've covered Artem's head completely in the saran wrap so that it protects his head like he just said and now we're going to start to layer the paper mache over that to create the mold of his face that we will later use to sculpt off of. Quote Arnold Schwarzenegger as if he was getting his hair done. Oh my god, this is an awesome haircut. I can't do the Arnold voice. To the barber! <laughs> to the barber! <laughs> Oh god, I can't see anything. <laughs> oh no. I'm not clear on how many layers I should put before. Yeah, we just put a lot, son. You want the second layer? This is the second. This has been so many layers. <laughs> okay, then you should leave it. There is no bathroom. <laughs> so, we're putting the paper mache strips on, trying to put on a couple layers so that the pro I don't have a raging boner, by the way. It totally looks like I do, but. You had, just, to, you, had, you had to mention that's, the bone. That's my jeans. That's just my jeans. So they're putting the second layer on, or the third layer, I don't know, a bunch of layers. Just put that shit on there. There you go, get the chin. Yeah, get the chin. Man, that's messy. Expert commentary by Artem Tonov, by the way. You know what this looks like? This looks like a porno gone horribly wrong. <laughs> Yo, don't even. Careful with that shit, son. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, now we wait. Right, There's the blow dryer. Um, yeah, this shit took forever to dry, like an hour, I think. And uh, it was very tough not being able to see. So the blow dryer should speed shit up, you would think, but it really didn't, not that, not by much. Artem is now fully encased in the paper mache mask. So yeah, we gotta transfer it from here to this mannequin head so it can dry without Artem looking like the mummy. Oh my ear! <laughs> Remember, whatever you do, don't sneeze. Oh, that's true, I could die. Ready? Careful. I'm carefully pulling it off. Careful, careful, careful. I got it. Okay, <laughs> oh shit. No, it's okay. not. It's stuck to his nose. No, <laughs> I got it. Oh god! <laughs> it's a monster! <laughs> oh no! It's falling apart! <laughs> this has gone <laughs> horribly wrong. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> my shorts! So, the back is pretty much the same thing with the front, but, wait for it, it's on my back of my head. Put the paper mache, we put the newspaper strips, flower water, we put them over my, the back of my head. Now I have to sit in a very uncomfortable position. It's dripping right off his nose. It's dripping right everywhere, and I have to have a blinding light <laughs> flashed in my eye. Hopefully no one sees this so that nobody can comment on how ridiculous I look. It is the paper mache newspaper cast over my head. It looks nothing like me right now, but this is step one. 
towards the Bane mask. All the flour and water and the whole mixture is mad messy. Look at all this stuff. This looks disgusting. And it's very uncomfortable and all the flour is like stuck to my skin. I'm gonna go shower now. And uh, yeah, it was fun. All the saran wrap on my head. Uh, very sweaty. My hair is still wet. Bam. So. We reevaluated the state of the masks about a week later after what you just saw, and we realized that the masks were still wobbly as fuck. They were not strengthened at all, even though they did sort of form fit to his face, so we had to reevaluate and strengthen the pieces with more paper mache. Unnecessary profanity aside, they were vo wobbly. Wobbly? <laughs> <laughs> so we had the masks, and uh, we just put more paper mache strips on uh, to strengthen them because, you know, the more paper mache, the stronger. So we took paper mache strips, and we just put them on the mask, kind of measured it more to my head, made it more form-fitting. My retard helmet is on. I am ready to go full retard. <laughs> This thing on my face! <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. You think I was gonna do it? I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> That's awful. Why did I do that? And I smell like a pancake again. <laughs> a wet pancake. Dr. Pavel refused to run for in favor of the Ash. We have to find out why the fuck Artem put this on his face. So we got the two halves, right? Front, back. We're gonna somehow fit them over my face. Figure out where the middle is. Trim from each one so that it's one piece, because right now it looks like I have a humongous fucking alien head, which is not good. Alright, so we trim some of the excess stuff off, so now it's more. I, feel, I think we're actually gonna have to add on more paper mache over here because it's such like a big gap. But, alright, let's try to put it on. Alright, my ear is probably gonna get cut off. So, yeah, Jacob marked off where the masks meet and overlap, so I'm gonna cut this off because this is excess stuff because what I'm gonna cut off here is gonna be covered by that mask. Um, same all around. So. so then, after that, more paper mache inside, so then it's nice and smooth like the outside. See? Because a lot of this is still kind of soggy. Right. Damn, that's hard as ass. That is really... Damn. Yo, poke this nose. Poke that. Poke, poke that nose. Poke. Yeah, look at that. Ah. Oh, right? oh, that is hard as yeah, a goddamn dick. That's what dick. I'm talking about. All right. Shit. All right. All right, you Artem Nose. We see you. So at one point in the video, um, there's a bee, a big-ass bee, and it appears in the in, out of the corner of my eye. I see it with my peripheral vision. I see the bee, and I start to flip out, and I say a bunch of very fucked up words. Well, there it is again. Holy cock nugget. Fuck ass. <sighs> Please, get it away from me. <laughs> Fucking peace.